Welcome back to the show, everyone. We are playing and probably concluding Whispering Willows. In the last episode, we had to deal with these night puzzles, which are really obscure, and I'm not even sure how I got through the other two. So I'm going to just try this. We're placing the mace. It looks like it's starting off the in the same angle as the lamp. And clearly, I don't have to open the door if the ones down there are the same, so I just have to change the angle of it. The only thing I can think of is if the hand position is supposed to be in the same way as the picture on the wall? But even this seems like it's not quite right. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. This puzzle is just... A okay, see, that one was the same as the picture in the back. So, like, that one seemed easy because the picture we were going off of, off of was really obvious. So here, with the sword, I guess it was supposed to be the exact angle of the telescope, but I had to have it perfect. And then with this, I guess it was the upside-down version of this portrait, but it's so exacting because it pretty much started in this exact spot. That's really obscure. It just felt a little too... I don't know. Anyway, there's no point in complaining about it. We're going to keep going. It was just weird. It sort of broke my tension because I was in it, and this is supposed to be an atmospheric game, and just all of a sudden it just slams you cold with this weird obscure puzzle. That needs way too exacting of a thing. But it looks like we are at the end of the game as we've got Wortham's final note. The time has come. I have prepared my estate to survive when I am gone, and so it shall. For generations to come, all locals will know my name. I am the founder of this town, and I am not done with it yet. Immortality is within my grasp. I have simply, I have simply to reach out and take it. After that, time will mean nothing to me as I continue to search within the ether for a way to see my Martha. In the end, I shall get what I desire. I always do. All I need now is a suitable host. In my youth, I aimed to wipe out the Quantaco, but I am happy to say I failed in my endeavors. One day, a descendant of that foolish shaman shall happen upon these grounds. When that day comes, I shall know my salvation. I shall be the spider, and he the fly. I'll wring from him the power in his blood, and absorb what I will. My time will come soon enough. I am beyond the laws of this mortal coil, and neither man nor woman will stop me. No, but possibly a little girl named, well, not little, teenage girl named Elena will. I unlock the door, and I guess here we go. Wait, where am I? Oh, oh, this is right, oh, this is at the basement, this, or uh, the level below where we found Wortham. Okay, Elena. I think this is it. Let's go confront Wortham and free Dad from his... Ah. The other side. This is it. Wortham and my dad are on the other side of this door. I can feel it, but I'm done being scared. Now is the time for strength. My dad needs me. I'm not going to let him down this time. I don't care what I have to go through. He's my father, and I won't let anyone take him away from me, no matter what. Wortham... I hope you're as ready for me as I am for you. Hell yeah, let's take his sorry ass out. You made it back. Without your amulet, even. But you are too late. You cannot stop me. I don't care what you say. I'll save my dad no matter what. Foolish child. I shall feed you a taste of my misery. See the past and know my pain. You don't understand. She meant everything to me. She was the mother of my son, my life's love. And you, you just remind me of her and how I betray her each moment we're together. Please, Wortham, please. I love you. Don't do this. I can't do it anymore. I won't. I won't disgrace her any longer. It's 
So you kill her? That's your solution, you piece of shit? Ugh. You don't understand. She meant everything... Wait, what? Oh, oh. Do I have a chance to do something here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Close the cupboard. Okay. I closed it. Please, Wortham, I, I must tell you something. I am with child. It's yours, Wortham. We are to have a family together. Okay, whoa. What? No, no, this can't be. She was pregnant? No. What have I done? Martha only ever wanted my happiness. We could have had that. What have I done? It doesn't matter. I was doomed from the start. See more of my life's horror. I thank you kindly for having me over for drinks, Wortham. We haven't socialized in ages. High time, I'd say. But of course, old friend, it has indeed been too long, and you've been missed, d and you've been dearly missed. I have watched your troubles grow. Aye, that they have, and I've missed ye too, Wortham. We will have to meet more regularly here on out. We certainly will, Darby. One final drink to ease your pain. You're the best friend a man could ask for, Wortham. Okay. Wortham spikes the drink. Okay, so now we have to figure out how to fix that situation. So I guess we'll move the drink glass? Oh, the table. Alright. For God's sake, Darby, you're drunk! Show some class, man! Just look at you, the state you're in. I've observed your de degradation these past months with distaste. You're right, my friend. You always are. You've been so good to me, and here I've disgraced myself. I know well enough the burden I am. Burden, eh? <laughs> A fine word, that. If I'd known you'd turn out this way, I know not what to think anymore. I know I haven't been myself lately. I had it pl I had pl I had it planned to take my life this evening while you slept. But your invitation wore them. It it gave me hope, you see. I've not told you wore them, but that wee girl I killed, she haunts me. Twas just dreams starting out, but any more I see her in the waking hours. I it's then I feel the hellfire licking at my haunches. My cooking skim reeks of brimstone, friend. I can hear per Perdition as it sings to me in the night. Why? Why did I do these things? He didn't have to die, my poor Darby. When did I fall so far from grace? It was that damned shaman who tricked me with his vile necromancy. Your ancestor. Know what your kind has done to me. Is what you say true? You can help to, you can help me to see my wife again? Yes, but your spirit must first be scoured. Are you prepared for this? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Tell me what to do, medicine man. 
You must sever your earthly ties. You must let go of your wife's memory. Only then will you be able to see her again. These candles will, will protect us from the darkness. I like how candles wasn't green. That is clearly extremely important. We will probably have to do something with those. Ah, okay. What am I looking at here? Can I move? I cannot move. Oh, this is creepy and evil. What did I just see? We know he strangled and killed Flying Hawk, who put up no resistance. So... Oh, I bet you the wind blew the candles out. So now... We need to somehow protect the candles or relight them, even. Alright. I still can't move yet. Okay, there's the wind. Yep, the wind blew the three candles out. Okay, so now... What can I do about this? Alright, there's one candle. Hurry, 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 hurry. There's candle two. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There's candle three. Okay. Wortham, I'm here, Wortham. Martha! Oh, how I've missed you, my love. Life is too hard without you. How can I continue on? I will be here for you always, Wortham. Now that you know how, you can see me whenever life seems too difficult for you. Live your life right and raise your, our son well. Goodbye for now, my love. I love you, Martha. Now and forever. So this the whole thing started just because an evil wind blew through the tent? You have helped me see things more clearly, Elena. To see the error of my ways. I only hope it is not too late for me. I shall finally see what the afterlife holds. Goodbye, Elena. By Wortham. May your soul rest in peace. Elena? Dad, you're awake. Yeah. What? What's happened? What are you doing here? It's a long story, Dad. But don't worry, I'll tell you all about it on the way home. Hooray! We have beaten war uh, Whispering Willows. I almost said Wortham's Willows. Oh, and they walk hand in hand. Thank you, David Logan. And Kyle Holmquist. One hell of a game. That was definitely fun and interesting, and I shouldn't talk over the piano, but I'm going to anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, while I watch the credits roll. I hope you guys picked this game up on Steam. It's only $15, I believe. That was kind of cool. Um, oh, Amanda Kiefer is the artist. She's the one who contacted me about the game and gave me a free copy, so major props to you, Amanda. Other than that last puzzle, I was really digging, digging this game. I still dig it. Just, you know, eh, that puzzle, but whatever. Skylar Davenport was the voice of Elena. But yeah, uh, 
That was fun. That was... The ending was like, unexpected. I, I did not expect her to go the peaceful route and just try to show the dude the error of his ways and have him just back off. That was unexpected and very cool. So I'm going to let these credits roll without my voice talking over it so you guys can listen to the piano. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it uh, and the rest of my series. And as always, please keep tuning back to the channel where, where we will have more games, more fun, more adventures, and hopefully less scary hands that are bursting from the floor trying to kill me. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in every day, 8 p.m. Eastern, for more episodes on Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where it is your Let's Play 2.